Yes, sir. We're officially back at it. This is Book Nice coming at you with the Marvel Legends Avengers Infinity War movie Cull Obsidian Builder Figure Wave Black Widow Figure Review. Let's do it. This ain't for no scalper. You a scalper? Then fuck out shit. This one for them real collectors. That's army building and posing figures. Marvel Legends. Imports. Many maybe I'm fucking with. Hype beast we know about. You. Stay buying figs. Don't six figures in a wave you need all six figures to complete the coal obsidian builder figure and there's a quick look at the artwork on the left side of the box same thing on the opposite side all right i have black widow out of the package and real quick i'll read her bio it says an agent of espionage an expert in hand-to-hand -hand combat black widow is trained to take out any enemy of justice not a bad looking figure here. They did a pretty good job. I especially think they did decent work on the head sculpt. Uh, and I think it's pretty accurate to her movie look in Avengers Infinity War. So let's go over her accessories. Black Widow's packed in with the torso to complete the Cull Obsidian Builder figure. And out of the package, she comes with two hands that are semi-open and cupped. These are the hands that you would utilize for her to hold a weapon. So let's get into those real quick. And she comes with these two little devices or weapons. I'm not even sure what the heck these are supposed to be. Uh, help me out in the comments. I don't remember how she used these or if she used these in the uh, in the movie or not. But they can be holstered on her left and right side. I suppose this is how these uh, fit it into the holster. I mean, I don't. she doesn't come with any guns. And it doesn't look like her staff or other uh, accessory can be... Uh, holstered at all. So I, I assume this is how these go. I got to go back and, and check and see what uh, weaponry she used in the movie. And then she also comes with this staff, which she absolutely used in the movie. She was definitely kicking some butt with this staff. It's a little bent out of the package. It's a little warped, so you're definitely going to have to do some uh, hot water, cold water tricks to uh, even things out. But pretty cool. And you can actually separate this and you can have her wielding these as two if you want to. Uh, she can hold it okay. Uh, it's not the best grip. It's not the best weapon. Honestly, it's okay. Uh, at least they included it though. Yeah, you can get a swing of these around. And then she comes with a set of uh, fisted hands. And these are cool, being that they are flat black. Because I'm thinking about other Marvel Legends female characters or figures that we can use these two fisted hands for. And just taking a quick look at her deco. It looks like a pretty... Uh, classic Black Widow design with just this vest over it. I guess you can count the vest as another accessory actually because you can remove this. So I'm going to pop this uh, uh, head off and, and get the vest off in a second. But pretty cool. You can see some mesh parts and some different textures here on the costume. But mostly just black with some hints of gray and then the green vest overlay. And I'll get you a close look at her head sculpt. So I actually think they did a really good job on this head sculpt. I think the likeness to Scarlett Johansson is is definitely there. Definitely not bad for Marvel Legends. Uh, and they gave her the, the blonde hair. Obviously that was uh, uh, owed to the blonde Black Widow from the comic book Shalina Belova uh, in Avengers Infinity War. Plenty of, of uh, Easter eggs in that movie. And again, if you haven't seen it yet, you definitely... Need to get out there and see it. It's a it's a great flick. But let's get this vest off. Very soft plastic. Easy to take this off. Just slip it over the head once you uh, over the neck once you pop the head off. And there's a closer look at that. And then there she is without the vest. And like I said, it's a pretty classic Black Widow outfit here. And if you never purchased any of the previous Black Widows from any of the other films, then this will actually do. This will actually work for any one of them i suppose i mean uh, the uh deco changes between the movies haven't been that much different and in terms of articulation the head is on a ball joint i'll let you see how that ball peg looks when you pop the head off very easy to pop the head off you get a very good range of motion on the head in fact it's a it's a little loose actually without the uh, vest on so you can pivot and turn it left to right do a full 360 all of that good stuff uh, looking down she'll look down really far She'll look up pretty far actually too. It's not hindered too much by the hair. Shoulders on a ball joint, they're gonna come up pretty far. You can do a full 360. No cut at the bicep. You get a uh, single jointed elbow, a little bit more than 90 degrees. It'll swivel on that hint on that um, joint as well. Then you'll get a swivel and a hinge on the wrist. You get upper torso articulation, so that's pretty decent. No ab crunch, no waist swivel, T-joint at the pelvis, the legs will come up that far. 
a split will come out pretty far which is great you get an upper thigh swivel you get a double jointed knee and you get a hinge and a nice deep pivot on the foot and although these are the kind of platform heels that they like to use uh, they are not um, the heel is not separated so it's not too hard to have her stand up and uh, not bad here and a couple quick size comparisons unfortunately I do not have all of the figures from the previous wave of Marvel Legends which was the MCU Thanos builder figure wave I only have the um, comic base figures from that wave I do want to complete the wave because I always complete all of the baths but you know me you know I don't really care about the movie figures too much so on the left we have the Black Panther uh, Okoye builder figure wave Black Panther which is pretty much the same design from uh, Avengers Infinity War if I'm not mistaken so you can see how those stack up and then on the right we have the uh, comic based uh, Walmart exclusive Thanos and I would assume that uh, the Thanos figures are about the same size I do believe the uh, the comic based figure is a little taller let me know in the comments if you know but you can see how those stack up and then there we have an all Black Widow comparison on the left we have one of the movie Black Widow figures I'm not sure if this was from Iron Man or from the Avengers movie I can't remember it was one that I was actually missing that came in the box set uh, this was uh, the first one or the earliest one, I believe. Uh, and then on the far right, we have the Marvel Comics, the comic-based uh, Black Widow that came with the motorcycle a month or so back. So you can see how those stack up. And then we have uh, Scarlet Witch on the left. This was from the Abomination Builder figure wave. I don't have the Scarlet Witch Envision 2-pack Scarlet Witch out of the package right now. I had one that I reviewed and then I ended up giving that pack away. I have another pack that I, that's around here that's still carded. Um, but yeah, so it's pretty much the same figure though. So the, the height uh, difference is, is the same. They will still stack up the same as far as the height goes. And on the right, it's the um, uh, Captain America uh, Winter Soldier movie in Captain America, the stealth Captain America on the right. I still think Winter Soldier is probably one of the top three Marvel films that it has been released. I will end up getting the bearded uh, rolled up sleeve uh, Captain America from uh, the previous wave but I assume that they're going to be about the same height so you can see how those stack up and there's how that looks it's not the best because the pegs are not exactly the same so this uh, uh, the older Black Widow head does not sit properly on a new Black Widow body there's the new blonde Black Widow head on the Marvel Comics version of Black Widow which doesn't look too bad you know, the neck looks kind of long, but some chicks have long necks. Um, so it doesn't look too bad, actually. So that's pretty much it. Not a bad figure at all. Nothing really crazy. Nothing to write home about. But it's a good representation of the character from the movie. And Marvel Legends has been putting out quite a bit of, of characters from the movie. Uh, you can definitely represent some of the uh, scenes from the movie as far as Marvel Legends go. And, and complete those scenes. You're not going to be able to do the same thing uh, with SH Figure Arts with what they're putting out. You definitely have a wider variety of characters to choose from. I don't have too many gripes with her aside from the warped uh, batons and on her left arm that hand uh, is uh, it doesn't really pop all the way in uh, to the wrist peg there. It looks like it's a, a little separated if you can see there. Uh, but aside from that, I don't really have too many issues with her. I think they did a pretty good job on this. Uh, not bad for 20 bucks for sure. And you get the biggest <laughs> builder figure piece uh, to complete Cole Obsidian with this, uh, with this figure. So moving on, Thor will be up next. And uh, as always, rate, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, peace.